This film stars a former DC comic book movie hero. Somewhere in the Northeast US lives a man and his wife. For no special reason, he gives her a special I love you gift. Aww. I think the main character is dealing with some financial hardship because at the beginning, this one guy is discussing a get rich quick idea. The guy makes him an offer he can't refuse, but surprisingly, he refuses. So I don't know. As a matter of fact, money should be the least of his worries. The main characters are minding their own business and then enjoys a deathly drop to their doom. At first, the main guy isn't really sure if he's dead or not, but he starts putting the pieces together. After that, the dead person goes through this portal of some sorts. We discover that there's a special limbo universe for dead people seeking employment and everyone there gets to enjoy dead people healthcare, 401ks, and full government benefits. The dead guy or guys are introduced to a deceased female government worker who starts providing some exposition for the audience on the do's and don'ts of the afterworld. There's lots of other dead people, so making friends shouldn't be too difficult. We're introduced to this one guy who seems pretty cool, if you get past the cowboy hat and the weird southern accent that makes him sound like he's chewing tobacco. In no mood to make new friends, the main guy is too busy going through all the dead people movie cliches, like viewing his own funeral. Side note, it's here in the cemetery where we find out that the southern accent dead guy is somewhat of an a-hole. Also, other cliches include obsessing over possessions he owned when he was alive, and last but not least, nobody is able to notice the dead guy. In his or her true form, I mean. A disguise is used as a plot device to make dead people visible to the living. There's this one dark haired chick that's able to bend the rule though. For some strange reason, never thoroughly explained, she's able to see the main dead people for who they really are. See, all the other human beings suck, but she's straight. She's the only living person one of the dead guys cares about actually. Moving on, Webster's dictionary synonyms for ghost include scary words like phantom and spook. So sooner or later, you expect the ghost in this movie to start to appear menacing? They try to scare this guy sitting down, but it backfires. Oh, I almost forgot. Remember I said the dead guy was obsessing over some earthly possessions? Well, apparently some of the bad people get an idea how to profit off of it. One of the plot devices gets into the hands of the fat guy in the ugly suit and then the action starts to speed up. This monster comes out of nowhere and manages to terrify the living people despite the dated CGI. I mean, when was this movie made? 1988 or something? But um boom tsh Making humans aware of paranormal activities is a big no-no in this movie. So the two dead main guys are sent to the dead boss lady's office. She's all mad or whatever because she has to deal with all this paperwork for their mistakes. I guess this movie's theme is you can't trust the living. Well, never mind, because you can't really trust the dead either. They're just as perverted as the living. So then the theme must be love transcends life or death. Yeah, but that's a stretch. I only bought it up because of the part where the romance is blooming between the young attractive living lady and the older dead guy. I mean, come on, how would that even work? You know what? Just forget about the theme. The fat guy starts running the show, right? And it almost re-kills our two main characters. Plus, the one chick with the black hair gets confiscated by the antagonist, so it's kind of serious, I guess. But they save her by exterminating the bad guy. In conclusion, the movie ends on a comedic note with one of the main characters dressed in a Britney Spears Hit Me Baby One More Time schoolgirl outfit. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <laughs> Best elevator music I've ever heard.